Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another Renewal episode 3 video. We are back with uh, Alan Wake uh, version 1.6.1. 1. Uh, so, in this one, I'm going to show you two to three things. Like, uh, in this one, we are going to use the Uniscalar 5, Uniscalar 5 for the GTX series and AMD series. We're gonna also use the new cam mod for only the RTX series. Like this is the DLSS 3 frame generation, this is the FSR 3 frame generation. Also, we're going to reuse the DLSS 3.7, which is the latest DLSS from NVIDIA uh, in the game for the uh, DLSS zip. I mean, when you are using an NVIDIA card, uh, you can use this zip uh, to enhance your image quality and improve your PS a little bit more uh, while using uh, DLSS frame generation on any RTX card. So yeah, without any further ado, let's uh, begin. So first we're gonna paste the DLSS 3.7 and the RTX uh, DLSS 3 zip. So we're gonna extract each zip to separate folder. I have not run the game because uh, I wanna make the video a little short. Uh, so as you know that uh, I have an RTX 2060 and on RTX 2060 without the uh, FPS uh, FSR 3 mod, uh, the Alan Wake uh, 2 gives like uh, 50 to 60 FPS on medium settings depending on scenarios. So yeah. Uh, let's first paste the DLSS 3.7. So we're just gonna open the installation folder and where the LMI 2.ex is located, we're gonna paste the DLSS here. Uh, it will ask you to replace. So we need to replace the previous DLSS in order to use the new DLSS. After that, we're gonna paste the DLSS 3 zip for LMI 3. So this is the DLSS frame generation. This is not the FSR 3 frame generation. Like in the RTX 4000 series, like uh, in RTX 4000, you guys DLSS 3 premiation, so that's we have tested here. Now we're just gonna run the game and see how much uh, more FPS we are getting with this DLSS 3 zip, and then we'll quit the game and use the Uniscalar 5 also for the uh, AMD and GTX series. Uh, okay, we're back in the game. And I think uh, frame generation is working because uh, on DLSS 3 we get a little bit uh, lower than FSR 3. Also, I'm recording on 4K. Yeah, that's why it's getting giving me a little low FPS. Uh, like if I untick the DLSS frame generation, like you can see as as I'm getting around uh, 50, 50 to 60 FPS. Yeah, and when I uh, turn on the frame generation, uh, it gives me a little bit uh, more, like uh, yeah, 90 to 100 FPS. Uh, so this is the DLSS 3 frame generation uh, which we have tested successfully and in this one uh, you can also use the FSR also but you won't be able to use the frame generation like if you select the FSR the frame generation will be grayed out that's because uh, this is the real frame generation of DLSS and it cannot be compatible with FSR <coughs> so yeah you can use the base FSR but you cannot use the frame generation uh, also uh, yeah also you cannot use the frame generation in the Uniscalar 5 with the FSR like uh, Uniscalar 5, you will also have to use the DLSS only in terms of using the frame generation. So yeah, uh, let's uh, install the Uniscalar 5 now. Just uh, let me test again that the frame generation is working fully. So yeah, there, uh, there we have uh, the DLSS 3 frame generation for RTX card only. And now we are going to install the Uniscalar 5 for AMD and GTX series only. So after quitting, uh, we're just gonna clean the previous files which we have just pasted. So yeah, we're just gonna remove the previous files from the DLSS zip. Okay, I think we have cleared uh, every file of the previous zip. Now we're gonna install the Uniscalar file.
So after extracting the zip, uh, you will need to copy these three files only. Uh, if you face crashing issue, then uh, you will need to copy these two files also and paste it in the same directory. So first we're just gonna try these three files. Uh, for most people, this should work. Uh, but if not, if you face crashing issue, you need to uh, flash these two also. Okay, so we have tested the files and now we're gonna run the game. Okay, we are back at the same location and <coughs> FPS is uh, almost uh, around the same which we are getting with the like DLSS3 transformation. Like, uh, we go to the graph setting, you can see it's select on DLSS and transformation. Now, in this mod, you won't be able to switch to FSR2. If you switch to the FSR2, the game will crash. So, I have warned you. Uh, Yeah, first just let me test that PS. Yeah, it's around 90 to 100. It's a little bit better, I think, than DLSS. Because, you know, FSR, uh, yeah, it's getting over 100 sometimes. And FSR 3 is a little bit uh, like uh, more uh, uh, in terms of uh, FPS rather than DLSS 3. But DLSS 3's uh, image quality is uh, way more stable than FSR 3. So yeah, uh, so this will be it. Uh, if this video helps you, uh, you can subscribe to the channel. If you face any kind of issue, you can comment down below. And uh, yeah, I'll also leave uh, another video about uh, the comparison of uh, Uniscalar versus DLSS Termination in Alan White 2. So stay tuned for that one. And yeah, also I think uh, Avatar uh, The Frontiers of Pandora will be available on channel. Uh, like a 3 video will be available on channel shortly. So yeah, stick around also for that and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.